here and today let's talk about how we can bridge geometry in order to get rid of gaps in our models. The tool that we are going to use to do this will be the bridge tool. Although sometimes we can use the polygon pen tool to bridge geometry, but the polygon pen tool has a lot of different options and that would be for another video entirely. So today we are going to talk mainly about the bridge tool. The bridge tool works in all three component modes, that is point, edge and polygon modes. On this first example here we've got eight points that were left behind by deleting the six polygon faces from the cube. And we can pretend that these are the points left behind after we accidentally deleted polygonal faces out of a model where we are working on and sadly we only became aware of it after a while so in order for us to rebuild a portion of a model where we've got like the main structure composed of points we can use the bridge tool to help us out so let's activate the bridge tool by hitting B on our keyboard and as you can see by making the cur by putting the cursor closer to the point it gets highlighted and we can click and drag to the next one you could use this direction or this direction in this case and let's do the same thing on the other two and as you can see we created a new face like that so this tool works like it this white line it's like we are making a virtual edge in order to connect this edge to the next one and to the next one and this way we can rebuild polygonal faces so let's do the next step once again and again and because this tool works um, upon the previous step we need to drop the tool and reset the tool by doing by tapping twice on the spacebar and we need to use the same technique top face so I need to tap twice on the spacebar and build the bottom face like that so as you can see without much work we rebuild an entire cube of course this is a very simple object and depending on the object complexity this might take a while okay let's have a look into the next example here on this one we've got these two polygon faces and we would like to get rid of this gap between them. The bridge tool as we saw before works in point mode. Let's actually do that once again. So let's click and drag, click and drag and we build this new polygon face. Let's undo that and now we can select or change to edge mode and as you can see now we are highlighting an entire edge we just need to drag and drop or drag and connect drag to the next one and now we create a new polygon face using edges instead of points in this case using edges was a lot quicker because we were able to build this face in half the steps in this example we've got here these two pieces of geometry and although we could use point or edge mode in order to uh, connect these two pieces of geometry we are going to use polygon mode so let's highlight this interior polygon and the opposite one let's hit B click once and we just connect these two pieces of geometry really quickly without you know much effort let's have a look into another example where we can use the bridge tool in polygon mode to our advantage let's say that we are creating like a window frame or a painting frame something like that and we need to create inside faces for this frame and at the same time get rid of these interior or these central polygons so let's select both these polygons click B click once 
and in one step we got rid of these two polygons and created the interior faces. So the bridge tool is very useful. You just need to know exactly when to use it. Let's have a look into the next example. And on this example, sadly, in order for us to use the bridge tool to connect all these edges or edge loops, we would have to get a lot of clicking. Let's have a look and, and see that in action. So click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. This is not the way to go because we need to do a lot of clicking and dragging. And this is a, a very simple piece of geometry. If we would need to go through these in a lot more complex geometry, you can guess how much click and drag we, we would have to go through. Okay, this is not the proper use for the bridge tool. In this case, we will have to use another tool. To select these edge loops, we can select the move tool, click twice on both sides, and now we've got here both edge loops selected. Let's select the stitch and sew tool and click shift, click and drag to select the opposite vertex, not that one, but this one. And using this tool, we are able to bridge edge loops. Let's select all these polygons, delete them, and let's see the tool in action once again. So let's go to, to edge mode, select both edge loops, stitch and sew, click shift, click and drag, and now we are able to bridge edge loops like that. Sadly, this option is not available on the bridge tool itself. Okay guys, this is it for bridging geometry. I hope that these tips will help you on your projects. And if you want to show your appreciation, please subscribe to the channel and drop me a like below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!